Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Thursday, we found out that the U.S. factory orders declined 0.5% in January and its fourth quarter unit labor costs and productivity revised down. We also found out that the U.K. will give the economy the support it needs to get through the coronavirus. On Friday, we have Canada's jobs report and the non-farm payrolls in the U.S. Today, I'm looking at the dollar-yen pair, which along with other dollar crosses, continues its sharp declines on the coronavirus fear. The pair is fast approaching the lows of last August towards the 104 level. And if a cure is not found for the virus soon, we could expect the pair to drop to as low as 101. Shorting the dollar yen pair has been my go-to strategy since 2008 when I first started trading Forex. While we can't guarantee this will happen again, many indicators are pointing to further declines. Now, do you think the dollar yen pair is oversold and we could see a temporary relief? Are you looking to short or long the dollar crosses? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tick Mill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates next week.